Hello okay, everybody, it's Harry Boxer, the technical trader at thetechtrader.com. Thursday the 13th of June, use the charts of the day. Well, uh, kind of a consolidation day, most of the day we wedged and then at the end of the day popped a bit, finished nicely on the day. A lot of stocks we follow are either emerging, kind of looking like they're about to merge or starting to take off. I wanted you to see Bold, which is on Dentist Therapeutics. This stock, after reaching its um, multi-month rally high in April, all the way up around 41.65, came down into the mid-30s and then bounced around and coiled, consolidated very nicely. As a matter of fact, it's like a textbook three-month consolidation from there to there. Um, OBV, on balance volume, has been moving up steadily. Is that near the high for this move, which is very bullish during consolidation. To me, it looks like an inverse head and shoulder breakaway gap there. That's the breakout. And basically, it's a large one, two, three, four, and I think the fifth wave could explode this into the mid-50s. Let's get to 41 and 3 quarters, 42 first. There's a bit of resistance to 46. Mid-channel target, 46. CTRB, well, I'm not sure if this is reversed yet, but a big, big long drop, a multiple um, reversal, inverse in, rever, uh, reverse um, split. So you can see pop up, pull back, pop up, pull back, and pop up again. Next time I think it goes through. Your target is 15, 15 and a half. Stock's trading at 10. After hours, it's down. A little bit. Um, so you can see that it's uh, something that's going to be very volatile. But I like this backing and filling a big volume after the breakout weight gap. So let's see if it sets up and goes. And through, through 16, you're looking at a stock in the mid-20s potentially. CBM, that's sell side, an old friend of mine. Uh, you can see the base pattern that developed there for a big downtrend. The breakout occurred there. The retest occurred there. And now it's snapping back. The targets are 8.5 and, and 12 if it does what I think it might. Solar stocks are emerging. First solar popped out of the wedge a couple weeks ago, ran up and now pulled back sharply uh, yesterday, but today a positive insight. We'll see if it's meaningful or not. Just a few of the solar stocks in, in today's listings. Let me, uh, today's chart for the day. Let's still get a couple of others. Run right up against this highs, multi-year highs as a matter of fact. One of the strongest um, sun run is, one of the strongest solar stocks out there right now. And if they come, if this comes through here, this V bottom with the platform could lead to a move into the low and then mid 20s. Another one is Solar Edge. We put a swing on it back when it broke out and pulled back, but it's still it's great. It's moved from about 50 to 58. Right now it's at resistance. We can get it up through that double top from June, July, uh, July, August. Next target is 65. The second largest firm in the world is SPWR. That's the second largest solar stock. And this thing looks like it's poised to pop through 860 and run. My target's $10. Vivint Solar, VSLR, also similar to run up near the multi-year highs. At least the last three-year highs. And you can see if it gets through here, we're looking for eight and a half and ten. It's a quick look at some of the solar stocks. Also wanted to point out First Solar, obviously the leader in the group, which came down hard and had an inside there. I think I just mentioned that. KOD, well, Kodiak Science has popped from the wedge, and that wedge broke out. It's pulled back for one day to retest right there, and then it's ramped right up from 1087 into the 13 range in the last two sessions. This looks great. I'm not sure how high it goes, but it looks like it could be mid-teens at least. Lulu, with a big earnings report, popped and pulled back to a new all-time high from, uh, popped from an all-time high to pull back. It only gained 363 or 2% if it being up uh, much higher than that, about another 10 points higher. Still, I think this one has potential for much bigger immediate move and if you're looking at this potentially as your long-term channel in that zone the top of that channel would have to look like this somewhere along there which means a target of 200 plus lift this is even since it went public and came down in five waves one two three four five it then bounced the resistance and pulled back creating an inverse head and shoulders this looks really interesting if you get lift through 63 you might see a stock that trades 69 70 pretty quickly PAYS, one of my new um, hot stocks of late, and a top pick at IDB, IBD, Investor Business Daily. Uh, you can see the pop today out of the little three-day flag with increasing volume, the biggest since February. I'm looking for it to make a quick move towards 15 on momentum alone. PLAN, not to mention, a great chart there. Since it's IPO in October, it's moved dramatically from the low 20s to the high 40s, 50 range. And today it's, cons and it's consolidated for a couple days before popping again today. My target looks like 57, 58, maybe more. Red Robin with a huge day today, exploding for 802. That's 31.5%, 5.2 million, the biggest I've ever seen in a stock. It seems to me this could be a breakup, but there's a double top, and, and this is going back in that 35 zone that needs to be taken out. 
you do that, you head it to 38 and 42. RBLB, new IPO, I'm going to show you this on a two-minute chart. You can see the way it came, sits, hits again public, and ran up and pulled back in a falling wedge. Broke out right there and ran up, had a five-wave corrective pullback, popped and coiled. Looks like it's poised to pop. We get above 42 and a half. 46, 48 zone is your next target. Scorpio Tankers in the shipping group. Put a swing on it when it broke out, ran right to the target. It pulled back and held three times in this area. And reverse 34 and 205 or 8.67%. Mine picked up a little bit. But this one needs to get going. And if it does get to 26 and 3 quarters, we can see 29. And 32 and a half will be next. A small uh, self wrap application stock, Calaria, which popped in February and then pulled back for a coil. We put a swing on it then. It was a very good one because the stock nearly doubled. It's then pulled back to support along that line, creating a new trend line. And they're ramping up for five days in a row. Looking for a quick test of 920, and then a test perhaps around 11. XON's ramping it. Take a look at this pop. So we keep resistance into the gap, and haven't quite filled it yet, but it's up for five days in a row, and 11 of the last 12. So a really nice looking chart, and some short covering going on there. Some resistance is 7.5, but the target's 8 and a quarter and 9 going forward. Biotech Z up been really strong in the last week. Look at the volume today as it spikes up through resistance. Maybe headed to the next target, which for me is just under seven. We're right about that level, 685. Beyond that, secondary target has to be up at the triple top at near eight. And finally, Zine, which has been very good to us, broke out there for a swing, popped the wedge, popped and had a falling channel, and it snapped back very nicely in the last five sessions. Stalling in here at resistance, that's logical. Your targets are 16 and a half and 20 going forward. And that's it for tonight, everybody. Have a good evening. Good night.